Hey guys, welcome back to this video on this channel. I don't know if you can see, but I put orange fairy lights around. I need these ones to be a bit brighter. I feel like they don't really shine out as much as these ones do. Um, but that's because it's September and it's getting around to autumn. So I figured we'll slowly start introducing more autumn vibes. Let me sh look. Ah, uh, look, that's a bit more autumn colours. You can see a bit more autumn. I say autumn, it's also kind of Halloween-y, isn't it? The bright orange. That's all besides the point. The point is, the reason why I'm here today is to do a book haul. Now, the sun is going down, so if the lighting starts to change at some point, forgive me. But that's why we're here. I've got quite a few books here for a book haul, which I don't know how this happened because I said to myself, I'm on a buying pause. Like, I'm not on a buying ban, but I'm on a buying pause, right? And I still managed to acquire quite a few books. That's fine as long as I read them. As I said, I'm going to start trying to read my shelves. So hopefully won't do too much of damage. So let's just start. I said let's just start, but quickly before I start, let me just put a disclaimer. I buy cheap books. If I don't buy books from the charity shop, then I'm going to make sure I buy it on a discount. So I look forward to seeing it. Um, I suppose if you're if you live in the UK, this is some tips and some tricks as well. Not really tips and tricks, but like you get to see what you can get if you try and thrift when buying books. So the first place I bought books was Amazon because <laughs> I, I thought I'd start with the least ethical place to buy your books. Okay, so Amazon was having a promotion where they had lots of books and they, I don't know what the promotion was, I've just looked it up now. But basically I got these four books which were meant to be £2.50 each. So it was meant to be four books for £10, which is really good, but it actually wasn't. It was four books for £8.50. So that's about £4.25 for two books therefore two pound 12 ish per book <laughs> don't two pound don't ask me why two pound 13 don't ask me why my brain decided to do that in depth maths but i figured since i started with this oh here's the in depths of cheap books i figured i might as well give you the accurate price the first book i bought was a spoonful of murder so this one first of all that cover immediately gets you hooked so i and not only that i've been seeing it kind of floating around i haven't seen anyone on booktube talk about it or read it but i've seen it kind of floating about places and just the cover alone really got me milk two sugars and one dead body i love a good tagline honestly so basically according to the premise it's about some retired school teachers three and every thursday they meet up and they have their coffee o'clock and they you know catch up and stuff like that they're retired and they're having a good old time and then one thursday they bump into like an old person that they know hold on ex-colleague all right and they bump into him and they i don't know i don't know if they like him i don't know i don't know yeah but then by the next Thursday, when they meet up for coffee o'clock, he's dead. And then somehow, they're now involved in his murder. Maybe they're suspects and they have to crack the case. I don't know, but it just sounds really exciting. I mean, this book reminds me of quite a few books, actually. Um, first of all, it reminds me of The First Day Murder Club by Richard Osman. I'm not pulling that out right there. Um, because, obviously, it's some elderly characters meeting every Thursday. Just makes me laugh. And the second one is dinner lady detectives i don't currently have that on my shelves because my sister's reading it at the moment but that is basically following dinner ladies as detectives so that's kind of like a mix of these two because they're retired school teachers and they meet every thursday and then there's a murder so that really excited me and obviously the fact that it was so cheap i was like i have to snatch this up i'm sure i'm gonna love it the next one is excuse me while i ugly cry again this is another one that i've seen a lot about like around places but um i don't think i would have picked it up if it wasn't for this discount but i'm glad i am because it follows this girl she's black she's 18 i'm loving it it's that kind of representation that i'm like I'm only 20, so maybe this will remind me of where I was like two years ago. And I think basically she has this journal that she loves and I think she's being blackmailed with the journal. I don't know. And somehow there's love and this is her romance guy. I don't know, but it sounds really interesting. I love the title, Excuse Me While I Ugly Cry. And that cover, come on now. Amazing. The next one was The Mansfield Park Murder. So I have my pile of classics here, right? Because I am really interested in classics, right? But the thing that I love to do when I do read classics is that I love to read their retellings along with it. Like, I just find it really interesting just how classics can be retold and stuff like that. And also, it shows the mark of a good story if, you know, 
it can be shaped and adapted into lots of different genres, into lots of different times. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's the sound of a good story. But anyway, this one is a retelling of Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. But obviously, it's turned into a murder mystery in 1814. That just sounds really interesting. Um, There's a similar... Oh gosh, I need to stop comparing these books. It kind of reminds me of... There's this book called mm -mm, Pride and Premeditation. That series, that's kind of similar, isn't it? When high society crumbles, everything must fall with it. So when I read Mansfield Park, look out, I'm going to be reading this. And then the last one was The Visa. I got this because I read the premise. Um, and it just sounds something right on my street. The reason why it's right on my street is because it's got a lot of my favourite tropes in. It's got that marriage of convenience trope. And that's it. Sorry. Oops. I said many of my favourite tropes, but that's the only trope. So basically what it is, it's about this guy who's a bit of a commitment phobe. And like, he don't, he don't do relationships. He says, sorry, it's not for me, babe. But then he has to get married to his friend because he needs a visa. He says, green card is important. Um, we're friends. You're going to do me a favor. And then somehow they end up falling in love. So exciting. Also, the cover is amazing. So that's what I got from Amazon. Next on to the works because the works is another kind of like big bookshop. Not really a bookshop, but you know what I mean. So in terms of order of type of shops we'll next go to the work i allowed myself to get these because i was on holiday in cornwall and so i was like i'm allowed to buy some books so i got frying plantain do i know what it's about no was it a pound yes does it have representation yes is that why i picked up yes so that was a long list and it ticked a lot of the boxes so that's why it's now in my house i don't know if this is gonna be for me i'm gonna be real but i figured i might as well give it a try like it's not gonna get much cheaper than a pound and there's probably gonna be things in this that i really relate to apparently it's about a girl caught in the middle of her canadian nationality and her desire to be a true jamaican which do you know what i can relate to being black british you know what i mean so we also have these books which let me take off the tag but it was five pounds for these five books that's really good and they're all by mc beaton agatha raisin I don't know. I didn't really look much into it. All I know is that I've seen this person about a lot and it was on discount for £5. And I said, you can't stop me. So, yeah, it says on the cover of, like, the thing that was keeping these five books together is five addictive cosy crime outings from the undisputed queen of the village mystery. Okay, so she's the queen of the village mystery. Who am I to deny it? In this pack, we've got Beating Around the Bush, Dead Ringer, which is witch's tree pushing up daisies and dishing out the dirt also look this is why I mean when i've seen when, gosh don't look at my nail sorry look look let's just ooh. look she's got a long list of agatha raisin books but these are five of them for five pounds and i might enjoy them is that it i think that's it from the works which is actually quite good because i don't even know if i've said how long i've been collecting these books but for a couple months now so for a couple months i've only bought that many from the works i've been staying away i said also i was this close from buying all four hot stopper books from the works because it's only 30 pounds for all four i didn't know i said it wasn't necessary when i have an influx of cash maybe i'll do it but i have an influx of cash at the minute so i'm gonna be real babe i'm struggling i'm struggling to open this up and i don't want to just poke a hole in it because like i don't like to waste plastic bags not good to use plastic bags as much as we can anyway so when i do have plastic bags i try to reuse them as much as i can but this bag is not working for me mm -hmm. ah done it okay okay now on to charity book stuff they're from my oh gosh spoilers they're from quite a few different charity shops so i'll just tell you them as we go along she says but i got this one i think it was from peter mm, i'm not sure what charity shop it was from because as i said it was, i was on holiday but it was from a different one to the rest of them i think it was if i can remember i'll put it on screen now but yeah i got this the spy and the traitor because it was a pound and it looked kind of interesting i feel like i looked it up on goodreads when i saw it in the charity shop because the back isn't calling to me i'm gonna be real i'm like kemi you decided to pick up that i mean again it was only a pound so like i didn't really waste my money but like considering how well i've been and i haven't really bought that much stuff she says while hauling loads of books but like there were better books in the shops than this so let me just 
look it up to see oh okay now i remember it's because it's like the greatest espionage story of the cold war i studied cold war in school and did i enjoy it like yeah sure why not but also like i feel like it's becoming frightfully too close like and too relevant with the whole russia ukraine war going on i'm really struggling maybe it might be because of my mood reader self right now was saying why the hell would i want to pick that up right now but i'm sure at the time it sounded interesting to me and i'm sure at another time it will sound interesting to me again right now all of these were from the british heart foundation who were kind enough to give me a free bag so the first one was me and white supremacy for two pound fifty this is how to recognize your privilege combat racism and change the world now i feel like this is written for white people as opposed to written about white people do you know what I mean? I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but there's like lots of books on like anti-racism. Um, and there's some of them who are like written to white people, and there's some of them that are like written to other black people. Kind of like right at the top of my non-fiction shelves, I'm not getting up to get it. I've got why I'm no longer talking to white people about race. And obviously anybody can read any book, but that's kind of like written for other black people. Whereas this, when I remember reading it at the shop, I was like, this kind of reminds me of a book that's written for white people to help them with racism. But having said all of that i still think it'll be really important for me to read and see what she's saying about it and like just because i'm black doesn't mean that i don't have bias in me so and also i just think it's interesting to read these kind of things and to be armed with knowledge that you don't have and also like maybe it will help me when confronting racism in do you know what i mean that i see and i deal with maybe it'll help me articulate some of the thoughts that i have not only that but if it's good i might pass it along to someone who i'm like here this would be good for you to read. So there you go. Then next up, this is why I said I've got four of this Jonas Jonasson's person books on my shelves. Because I went into I went into the British Heart Foundation. I saw it and I picked it up again for two pound. I it's getting out of control. Look, right behind me, I've got look here. Right behind me, I've got these two by Jonas Jonasson or whatever. I've got the one that's on my TBL, so it's over there right on my like coming in coming out shelf and i've just bought this one it's getting out of hand i haven't read a single one of his books but i understand why i picked this one up because this one is the accidental further adventures of a hundred year old man and on my tbr today is the accidental adventures of a hundred year old man so hopefully i love it because i went and bought the sequel these two aren't are like similar as you can tell from the covers but i don't think they're like related do you know what I mean? It's just like from the same author. This one is the girl who saved the king of Sweden. And this one is Hitman Anders and the Meaning of It All. Which I don't think, again, is related. But this one is the direct sequel of the one that's on my TBR today. So I better love it because I bought it, the sequel for £2. Next up, we have The Girl with the Louding Voice for £2. This is another book that you've seen. I'm pretty sure if you've had your eyes open you've seen people talking about it it says inside every girl is a louding voice a voice to speak up for herself for all the girls who came before her and for all the girls who will follow as a third wife in a small nigerian village 14 year old aduni is expected to fade into silence but aduni will not keep quiet she's smart funny and curious with an infectiously joy joyful spirit and despite adversity awaiting her at every turn she's set on getting an education no matter what the cost i'm excited to read about aduni this feels like a black book that i should definitely pick up and read at some point now it's not my typical genre but as i said it's something that i think i should read similarly with girl woman other is it my kind of genre no do i think i should read it yeah 100 percent. so i definitely have it on my shelves yeah 100 percent. it says this is britain as you've never read it this is britain as it has never been told from the top of the country to the bottom across more than a century of change and growth and struggle and life girl woman other follows 12 very different characters on an entwined journey of discovery it is future it is past it is fiction it is history it is a novel about who we are now i'm really excited about this i haven't been showing you the conditions of these books but they're in good condition and lastly a book that i've already read my sister the serial kit killer i actually enjoyed this like it wasn't a favorite but i enjoyed it so let me tell you what it's about it's basically it's about this woman i think she's a nurse at a hospital and she's got this crush on this doctor right 
that's one side plot but also guess what her sister keeps somehow managing to kill people she's in relationships with like she's in a relationship with someone and then bam they end up dead and she calls her sister like oh babe i really need help like can you come and help me like oh my gosh and she's like oh my gosh okay fine you're my sister i better help clean up your mess and her sister is like so beautiful everyone loves her sister but does everyone know that her sister is a serial killer and will murder her partners kind of like black widow like a black widow spider but then her sister meets the doctor at work that she has a crush on and she's like mm, i like him and all of a sudden she's like hold on a minute wait now we gotta put a pause to the fact my sister's a serial killer because she can't be going around murdering my crush and that's kind of what the premise is like it's not a mind-blowing book but i enjoyed it and i do want to have it on my shelves and it was only two pounds as i said so good i will definitely reread this sometime soon so yeah and then the last place I bought my book was at a different charity shop. Now, I can't remember ex the exact charity shop off the top of my head right now. I'm trying to see if I can find a receipt. And I, she asked me, do you want a receipt? And I said, yes, please. Because I knew when it came to my wrap-up, I was going to... Not my wrap-up, my book haul. I was going to have to say what charity shop it was from. And I can't remember. If I, if I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. But let's just go through some of the books that I bought there. Quickly, before we go there, this is a different British Heart Foundation that I got Uneasy Lies the Crown, which is a historical cosy mystery, I think. It's not the first in the series. I think it's in the middle of a massive series. But, like, with these kind of things, with these kind of mysteries, I feel like if you pick up one, you're not really missing that much out. You can always go back to from the beginning if you want. If you don't want, it's fine. Do you know what I mean? Like, I do usually... I'm not going to lie. I do usually read them in order, if I can but with this one i couldn't it was two pound fifty and it says it's set in the year 1901 and queen victoria has just died but then there's this lady emily right a body has been found a serial killer and she's got to solve it basically it sounds really interesting i'm really in my historical mystery bag right now so this is your shout and if i like it then i know i've got a whole series to, to dive into next up is truth or dare by sophie mckenzie this cover first of all is amazing like this is very much not a cover by but kind of a cover by so this is basically about a 14 year old maya who has to spend her time with her grandparents helping out at their family cosmetics firm right what, sorry when i saw family cosmetics firm i thought let's not let's not be around the bush babe your grandparents they're doing the deed already this is firmly outside of a reality that i know nobody i know as a family cosmetics firm but anyway that's besides the point she goes to help them out when she's there she meets some person activists campaigning against the dumping of chemical waste now i'm not sure if that's linked to her family's cosmetic firm because if her family is dumping waste mm -mm, baby you better get on your family you better tell your grandparents granny granddad stop that but anyway she meets this community and then oh she says she lies about herself to fit in and then next thing you know she must decide between the truth and ultimate betrayal when she discovers a secret that puts her family in danger i mean i'm not surprised her family's in danger when they're a cosmetics firm and she's all up there with the activists anyway sounds exciting i'm not really sure what truth or dare has to do with it do you know what i mean it feels a bit catfishy i know i just said that the cover and the title is really good but also if there's no mentions of truth or dare as in the game i'm gonna feel catfished book catfishing at its finest another book that i've already read was the last by hannah jameson for three pounds i really enjoyed this when i read it i read it a while ago it's basically set in kind of like a pandemic no nuclear war sorry my bad but basically the world is like it's kind of blown up because in the middle of a nuclear war and this guy it's like i think he's like left his family and got to stay in a swedish hotel like before it happened and then obviously there's nuclear war there's no power and he's stuck in this hotel with a bunch of people and he's just kind of like whoa like i can't contact anyone i can't go anywhere and whilst he's stuck in this hotel with all of these random people someone dies and then they're like we've got to figure out who killed people in this hotel some people are going to be really excited to see this house of earth and blood two pound fifty can we just appreciate how you can get the house of earth and blood in pretty much new condition don't look at that because a lot of damage of books comes once it's in my household or once it's in my possession but look two pound fifty this big chonka i again i read this but i read it a while ago it's basically i, I can't be bothered to explain the story the plot line i feel like a lot of people will know what this is about basically it's a fancy 
it's got romance in it it's got a mystery in it it's got grief in it those are the main themes it's got a sequel <laughs> that's it's sarah j Mars. Woo! <laughs> that was a good description if you ask me we've got 13 stories as much as i don't like thrillers there are certain thrillers that i'm like i'm interested in and this was one of them because look it says 13 stories you can see and then it says going oh can you see can you see going up <laughs> way to get me so let me read. It says, a dinner party is held in the penthouse of a multi-million pound development. All the guests are strangers, even to their host, the billionaire owner of the building. None of them know why they were selected to receive the invitation. By the end of the night, their host is dead and none of the guests will say what happened. His death has remained one of the biggest unsolved mysteries until now. Are you ready for their stories? Love that. Apparently it's a genre bending journey. I'm excited about it. I mean, how long will it take me to read it? A long time, most likely, but it was £3 and I had seen it around and I was interested, so I had to get it. Lastly is Sunset. I'm pretty sure I saw this on Lauren and the Books' channel um, and that is solely the reason why I picked it up. I feel like I feel like it's not set in the UK. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. Mm, maybe it is set in the UK. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure, but it's basically a novel about sisters and sisterly relationships. And I've got a sister. I love my sister very much. I don't know. I'm just excited to read um, books about sisterly relationships. I feel like it's not rare, but I just don't really pick up that many books about sisterly relationships. So when I do, I try and pick it up. Hence why I bought this book, even though it was six pounds. And I did think that was steep when I bought it. I know a lot of people call me cheap, but I was like, six pounds? But I decided I would give it a go anyway. Just for the sisters, just because of Lauren and the books, I'll give it a go. Before I go, I went to the library today and I figured I might as well just show you what was at the library. I mean, it is getting slightly dark, but it's adding to the ambiance, you know? It's only three books from the library today. I got Monster Volume 2, um, anime. Why did I get this? Because of, I got this because of Katie Coulson She was, she's in her manga era and I'm pretty sure she read this and I feel like she enjoyed it. I'm not sure if she loved it. I can't really remember because my memory's trash. But she definitely read this. And I thought, well, I haven't really read that much manga. Um, and I went and I said, might as well get it out from the library. I do have the first one over there from the library. But I just went to the library today and the second one came in. Secondly, what else did I get? Oh my goodness, massive. I Hate Fairyland, book one. Now, when I went and searched for I Hate Fairyland, I thought it was just going to be like one like the one like the first book but no this seems like a compilation of the i don't know how many of the graphic novels are in here but i suppose it's good because that way i could just read it all in one and get it over and done with i'm so sure i read i saw this on someone else's channel that someone else being don't hold me to it because it was a while ago i want to say cody cody you see the coda cody or g i want to say and ever since then it sounded like something that is i would really enjoy it's basically about this guy who i think it's a guy maybe it's a girl it's about this person who goes to this like magical world fairyland when they're a child you know they enjoy it da, 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 but they get stuck and they get stuck in a child's body and so now they're a grown adult stuck in a child's body stuck in this like magical place called fairyland and they hate it and yeah i think it i think it's a bit gory i know it looks like pink and stuff like that but look black eye like i do think it is a little bit gory and it does sound great look this is the artwork pretty exciting if you can see the stack currently is now up to here i don't know that's not great depth perception to show you but anyway i'm definitely not gonna be able to hold up all of these books because these books is now piling up higher than me look it's now up to here lastly from the library before it gets entirely too dark to talk to you i got honey and spines by bully babalola now i read love in color by her a while ago and it was a five star it's one of my favorite reads honestly it was amazing um it was like a short story compilation 
and this is her first like full length novel and i've been following her ever since like before this has a title she was definitely working on it but i can't remember it definitely didn't have a cover i'm not sure if it had a title but i'm almost certain it didn't have a title at the time and i've been following her and so yeah this is what it's about it's a romance i don't know i'm gonna go into it blind to be honest with you but definitely check it out i'll definitely read it and come back and let you guys know what i think of it that's all of the books i mean i think that's it as if there wasn't one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eight nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty two books i bought three from the library 25 that's a nice round number actually let me just move the stack over this is where the stack ends so it is slightly excessive Ooh. I am a lot better with hauling books now. Thank you guys for watching this video. It's now dark. I haven't eaten anything since breakfast. I'm feeling a bit faint. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Peace and love. Peace and love. Bye, guys.